Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Please hit that subscribe button before we get started with today's video. So I've noticed lately on social media, a lot of people are saying which powder is better. Is it the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish or the Marc Jacobs Accomplished Powder? And I have both, so I figured why not do a review and demo of each one, a side-by-side -side comparison, and you can decide which powder would work best for you. Before I get started, keep in mind I am 36 years old and I have extremely dry skin that's prone to fine lines, so a blurring powder sounds perfect for me. I did a little bit of research and I just wanted to point out before we start that the Marc Jacobs powder is 10 grams and it's $49 US. This breaks down to $4.90 per gram and the Charlotte Tilbury powder is eight grams and it costs $45 US. So that breaks down to $5.63 per gram. So the Marc Jacobs is a bit cheaper. Also, when I looked at Sephora's website, the Charlotte Tilbury powder is defined as an ultra fine setting powder that blurs imperfections and visibly reduces shine. The Marc Jacobs powder is defined as a blurring touch up powder that sets, blurs, and reduces the look of shine. So both of them are claiming to reduce shine and to blur imperfections, which sound great to me. I was thinking about doing a, an eight hour type test, but the thing is I live in Dubai and it's just so incredibly hot right now. It doesn't matter what I do. The second I step outside, I just start sweating like crazy and my makeup just instantly gets very messy. So I will tell you my honest thoughts based on my experience with these two powders as I am doing the review and side-by-side -side comparison. So I'm gonna start off with the left side of my face and I'm going to use this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. This is the lightest shade the powder comes in. It's shade one and it's called Fair. As you can see, I've used it quite a bit. I've been using this powder since about last September and I've repurchased it many times. So on my left side, I'm gonna put this powder on and I'm using a Wayne Goss powder brush. This is a wonderful brush to use if you have mature skin. And this powder does come with a mirror in the compact, but just for the sake of doing this review, I'm going to use this bigger mirror I have right here to just really take a good look at the product. Now, as you can see on my face already, I can tell that this side is definitely a lot shinier and this side is just more smooth. I have been using this powder for a long time, like I said, and one of the biggest problems I have is I smile a lot, especially when I'm out with friends and just you know socializing. So these lines that I get right here, these smile lines, sometimes they get powder or different products stuck in them. And if you have that problem, you will know exactly what I mean, and you can actually see the product settled into the lines. I will tell you that with the Charlotte Tilbury powder, I've never had that problem. So the powder is very, very, very light and it doesn't take away, or it doesn't take away from the natural look of your skin. And it also just doesn't make you look older. Now let's jump into this Marc Jacobs powder. And this product I really like because it comes with a little brush and it's also just such a sleek compact that it fits perfectly in your clutch. Dubai is a big going out culture, so everyone has you know, a ton of clutches and we're always going out and it's so nice to have a built-in brush. With that being said, I've been using this product for maybe about four weeks and you can see that the brush does, uh, the little hairs on the brush do sort of, what's the word, flare, flay out, splay out, you know what I mean. And so it's not a perfect 
insertion by any means. Um, I just realized that actually this goes up, so yeah, you would never have that problem. That's just me. <laughs> so side note, it does go up. So yeah, you could definitely avoid what I did right there. So I'm going to use this brush to put this powder on. Now this is also the latest color that comes in this uh, line, and this is shade 50, and it's called In Ingenu. Ingenu. I, I don't speak French, and to be honest, it's a little too dark for me. This is a great color for me when I'm tan. Also, when I look at the powder, there is this hint of shimmer in it that the Charlotte Tilbury does not have. So I'm going to apply this now. And one more thing to note, when I do um, push this brush around in it, a lot of product comes out. You can see that when I first started, this was black. And now I can just, it's almost like a gray color. I can see the, um, you know, all the makeup. So there is a lot of kickback in this. <laughs> my mirror is covered in the Marc Jacobs powder. Okay, so now looking at my face, you know that the left side is a Charlotte Tilbury powder and the right side is the Marc Jacobs powder. If you want to buy one of these powders and you really don't know which one to buy, you're looking at me right now and you're thinking she looks exactly the same, then this is what I'm gonna tell you. If you have oily skin or combination skin, go for the Charlotte Tilbury. It's a little bit of a drier powder and it has more of a matte finish. If you have dry skin like me, combination to dry skin, go for the Marc Jacobs because it has almost this dewy finish to it. It has this, it's, it's just a very soft, smooth powder in a way that the Charlotte Tilbury isn't. They're both great powders, but this is what I'm gonna say, oily, more on the oily side, go towards the Charlotte Tilbury, more on the dry side, go towards the Marc Jacobs. If you have pigmentation problems and you wanna cover them up, you're gonna get more coverage, I think, with the Marc Jacobs powder. That also goes for pimples and acne too. Overall, they're both such great powders, you can't go wrong. So if you really can't decide, then the brush factor in the Marc Jacobs Compact is just amazing, especially if you're like me and you're just a woman or a man on the go and you just want something that's really handy. This brush is actually really great quality, it's very soft, and it applied the product beautifully. So I hope that this helped, and I know that there wasn't some powder that I'm just telling you is, a, is so much better than the other one because the truth is they're both such fantastic powders. In using both these powders, I don't get anything getting caught up in my lines. They don't age me and they just wear beautifully on my mid-30s skin. So like I said, just to recap, if you're more on the oily side, go for Charlotte Tilbury. If you're more on the dry side, go for Marc Jacobs. Thank you so much for watching this review and I hope you enjoyed it. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you did, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much, bye bye.